launch it. The game is being streamed to this shield device that's sitting right here. Okay, so this is shield. Go ahead. So Sean is playing Batman. Now this is using our latest generation G-Force. And notice Batman has DX11. And so there's some special things in Batman. I mean, if you ever enjoyed Batman, it's got so much technology inside. Uh, the cape is um, a cloth simulation. So you can see, look at the cape. It interacts with uh, your motion and, and Batman and, and all the, the characters. When the, when the helicopter flew over it, uh, the cape was being blown around. Notice the snow. Every time you walk over it, it actually deforms the snow. And it's deformed permanently. So, okay, so it's not some art, it's physics simulation. The lighting system is just fantastic. Now you're enjoying this, it's completely interactive. And Sean is controlling a PC that is wirelessly over here. So imagine this PC is in your bedroom. And so this PC is actually the game console for Sean right now. Okay, he's remoting access to it. Um, uh, the, the Batman game could be uh, available on Steam. Steam is um, uh, the number one Play Store on, uh, on PCs. And uh, you can enjoy it streamed directly to him. Uh, you, could, you could see that, in fact. Uh, it, it, this, this game is being streamed. Can you guys see that? And the two, the two screens are perfectly synchronized, it? as if there's no latency whatsoever. It feels just like I'm at my gaming PC. So I can, I can instead of lugging my, my giant gaming PC into my living room, I can enjoy the same experience in front of my TV. So for some people who enjoy uh, game consoles, they can obviously connect a game console to their TV. But if you already have PC gaming, as in several hundred million people around the world today, and you can now, with GeForce, with GameStream, and then with a Shield game console, connected device, you can now enjoy uh, next generation games on your television. Okay, thank you. Now, Sean,